Yo, what's going on guys? This is Snape here and I'm back with a brand new video. Today guys, I'm going to be doing a coaching type of video. I've done something similar to this before where I showed you guys how to use cover. Today I'm going to be showing you how to hold angles. So if you enjoy, like, comment, subscribe, without further ado, let's jump straight into this. So we are teaching you today on how to hold angles. A lot of people have this uh, problem where when they get to weird end fight, they're not thinking about where to hold position and they're very much just full sending and then they end up losing the game because they're not actually taking fights the way they should. You then essentially want to try and isolate them, push them into a smaller space where they have no way to protect themselves. So you'll notice in the video today, the last squad that we are fighting, this is a prime example on how to hold an angle because what we got is we'll have myself shooting downwards in a straight angle and my two teammates loop off to the right and then they can shoot in from the inside. Therefore, they have literally nowhere to hide, okay? They can't move to the back, to the left or anything like that because they're still going to get shot. They have nowhere to hide and it is a really good way to show you how to close them off and make sure that they literally just can't escape and they are going to end up getting knocked. So you'll see, first of all, we're going to start off at the height, okay? so this is just us working our way down so this is not really anything to do with holding angles this is more just to show you how to push you know we've got the height advantage so there's no reason why we can't win this this is an easy push you know you're aiming down there are looking up they've got no chance okay they literally have no chance so all we have to do here is get a quick wipe get rid of this team because at the end of the day we got four squads left and we don't want to really be having these guys around so you'll see here we're knocking them clearing up nice and quick a rat has just escaped, so that was two of them have just been killed, okay? Now, you'll notice whilst we're having this fight, in the top right, the last squad has just finished the other player, okay? So, I don't know whether it was the full team or not. I didn't actually see, but you'll notice now we've got a full squad and we have, obviously, the solo rat. So, essentially, this is more or less going to be a freebie free because we all know the rat is not going to be a problem, realistically. Looking at the position already, we've obviously got the height, we're at the top, and the rats are obviously sitting down at the bottom. So what we're now doing is we're prioritizing trying to push the team that is a full stack down the hill, okay? So we'll see in a second, okay? We've got a pretty decent spot nonetheless anyway. Because we've got this rock here, which is really good for cover. As you can see here, this rock is perfect. We can move around it and it's enough cover that it's basically in when the ring shuts. So this is perfect for us because we've got plenty of cover. Now you'll see the, the issue for the other team is they do not have any cover. They're hiding in the top left in a second. You'll see this one because they'll run up there and they try to hold there because they've got nowhere to play. So then we're forcing them to go back down the hill. So you'll see here, we're unfortunate not to get a knock here. Very unfortunate not to get a knock. But you'll see uh, from where they are in the zone. Ping. You can see there, they are not in the zone. So all we need to do is just hold them out, push them down, force them out of position, because there's hardly anywhere for them to play. So you can see there, they're starting to panic. They're thinking, shit, shit. If they catch us off an angle now, we're dead. Watch it, they'll push all the way down. And then of course, they're trying to play on the jump tower. Um, and then of course, here we go. We now see here, they're pushing the rat, okay? So this is where they're slipping up, okay? Because they're full selling the rat. I get why. They want to get rid of the rat. So then they've got second place secured. But they do very much then throw themselves into a shit position where they're very much split. So we'll see here now. I'm moving a little so I can get angles. I it. Broke one. Now you can see here, okay, if we look in the top left-hand corner again, you can see I've split off from my teammates. So I've got a very nice downward angle where i'm head glitching so the only thing they're going to be able to see is my head i'm playing pathfinder a very annoying head hitbox um and then of course my teammates have got the opportunity to loop in from the right so as we know what's going to happen is i mentioned already the angles okay looking downwards okay the only way they can protect themselves from myself is being behind cover but with my teammates pushing in from the right then that behind cover they cannot defend themselves from so you're going to see here in a moment this guy, the one I'm shooting at, has technically the best cover out of the lot. Um, the other guys should have stayed behind the rock on the right here. By leaving this box, I know they get ulted out of it in a second, but by leaving out that, that was their best source of cover because for my teammates to push in, they would have physically had to have gone very close and they could have got caught out a lot easier. Um, but you'll see here, cryptic chucks are caustic out. Now, this is forcing them 
off of that position. So that was a really good play from Cryptic just to get them out of that position, which is their best port of play there. Um, obviously, this Revenant here is getting an absolute dick in from me. But realistically, I'm not going to be able to knock him. I'm not going to be able to finish him because he's got a good spot for cover. Um, so this is the situation we're in at the moment. As we can see here, say, I'm naming down. Now these guys are getting pushed out of cover. I'm going to have free shots on them. They are not going to be able to get away from my shots because there's just nowhere to play here. There's no cover at all. They are royally fucked. Now, the reason why I paused here at this moment is because I almost make a massive mistake, okay? And you're going to see that in a second, okay? Cryptic makes the call for Harley to push with him. Me, in my mindset, I hear them saying, push, push, and I almost left my position. I actually technically do, and if I'd slipped up and got shot here, this would have been my fault massively. But you'll see here, uh, there is no reason for me to leave here. This is the perfect spot for me just to completely deal that damage, and then Cryptic and Harley can get the final touches. But you'll see here, I'm going to pop my back. Cryptic says push up. There. Why have I jumped down? This is a big, big no-no. This is basically... I'm I'm so lucky not to die here. Look, if that bloodhound had actually shot at me behind the rock, I'd be dead. But now we can see here, they've got hardly anywhere to play. And with Cryptic and Harley on the right-hand side here, they've got nowhere to defend themselves. They are royally fucked. So all we have to do here... You can hear my call there. Let me get some damage in because if Hartley and Cryptic push in now, they are going to throw the game because they're going to have free eyes, free guys shooting at them. Okay, I can't stop that. If they push around that corner, they are dead. But they hold their position. They wait for me to do the damage. Can't see him. And all I need to do is I just need them to wait, or just need them to wait. Boom! Knock. Go. Now it's officially not a problem. Go crazy. Push in. Wipe up the kills. He's playing the, knock. He's playing the, knock. the one's playing the knockdown, which is why Cryptic has to push in a little bit more to finish him. And then as we can see here, this guy was never going to win against me, okay? As I said, I've got the height advantage. I've got a better head peak than him. And I can absolutely one. rinse him. And now, of course, we've just got the last knock. Now I'm able to push down and we can just finish up that last kill. And as you see, Harley finishes yeah, them off from that angle. Holding the angles, easy as that. So yeah, literally all you gotta do a lot of the time is say, hold angles, think about your teammates' positionings. You don't all have to push the same angle because if we all pushed on that right-hand side, then of course we would have led up an opportunity for them to potentially smoke and push back up the hill, therefore putting us in the vulnerable position. But by holding that position there at the top, as you can see, my teammates were able to hold a different angle, absolutely level them with bullets. And then, of course, we were able to get the knock, which secured us the win. So, yeah, that's how you hold an angle, guys. I really recommend this is something that you start thinking about, especially when you get to those last fights for those 3v3s, especially if you've got height. Don't get greedy. Don't start pushing for no reason. That Literally, I almost threw in this video. It was a prime example of what not to do. If I was stupid enough there and went all the way down, I would guarantee I would have got knocked and it would have been all my fault. Holding the position secured the win. I could deal all the damage. The boys then sweep in to finish up the wipe. Easy as that. So yeah, that's how you hold your angles, guys. I hope that video has helped give you a little demonstration, a little bit of help on how to do it. If you have enjoyed, though, please like, comment, subscribe. If you want to see more types of coaching videos like this, then make sure you let me know in the comments down below and I'll see what I can do. But yeah, that's everything for today. And I'll see you all in the next video.